Greetings and salutations, my friends. Episode 56, whatever. It's Youth Intake Day. Here it is. I, ha I did click on it, but I haven't looked at it. Got to catch you up on what's gone on before, and then we'll have a good look at the best Youth Intake Day since... Claude Makaleli came through the ranks, uh, wherever the fuck he came through the ranks at. So, it's been going really well, and then it went horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how to explain what's just happened, really. Um, I can't even remember what the last episode, I've been up all night. I've, been, I've recorded like six episodes in a row, because I've, I've been so much fun. And... Where was it that we last played? All right, I'm going to say it was Eastman Borough, wasn't it? Yes, it was Grimsby. Yes, yes, brilliant. So, carried on as we did before. 2-1 victory. Joe Wright and Lee Madison with the goals. D Madison has been godlike, by the way. Dover Athletic, Jarvis, Alex John. I, I, I completely over-celebrated this goal. It was so good to see him back. I've missed the man. And Callum Dolan with the goals. And then Kettering, 4-0. Madison Brace, Baldwin and an own goal. And then we beat Brackley, 4-0. Madison Brace, pa you're going to see a lot of Madison goals. Will Patching and Callum Dolan. And then we beat Chester, 4-2. Lee Madison Brace, Apavsky and Alex John with another goal. And then we, we were just crushing teams for fun. And then, then we got beaten by Halifax Town, 3-0. We did have a man sent off, but they were already 2-0 up at that point. And then we lost to Port Vale 2-0. Um, a ridiculous own goal. It wasn't one of, like, you know, the ricocheted off him and went in own goal. It literally, he just crossed it. My guy had a free header and just headed it in a different direction than he meant. And then he, uh, a different player did exactly the same thing. Dan Butler did it. Um, this was <sighs> a tough one to take, boys, right? We went 1-0 down. Then we went 2-0 down, okay? Then we grabbed one back and it was looking good. Then we went... 3-1 down, right? And then, what happened then? We went 4-1 down after the 71st minute. So I changed it up, and we suddenly started playing. Madison got another two for his hat-trick, and Jarvis scored. And I thought, it was 4 all, and I'm like, we're playing so well. Do I stick or twist? It's a good result. Billy Ricky, like third or fourth in the league. Do we stick or twist? I went for it, and then they scored in the 95th minute for a 5-4 win. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, score four goals in a row for three games. Three there, two there, two there, four there. Absolutely destroying it. And then we just lost three games like quite badly. So today we're playing Bromley. But more importantly, it's youth intake day. Um, just give you a quick Madison goal scoring ridiculousness update. If we look at his form. Yeah, yeah. He's just scoring lots of goals. He's... Smashed his record in a season. He's not even played as many games. He is one young player of the month and player of the month for the last two months. So we've got four awards in the last two months. But let's have a look at youth intake. For the love of God, be a goal. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Please be a golden generation. Please, please, please. Hang on. Let's te let's let let's tease ourselves. Um. Fullbacks, centre back, left midfielder. That's what I'd like, please. One of those, two of those, maybe. Oh, okay, it is a god. Okay, I just saw the very strong group players. Whisper it quietly, but this could be the so called golden generation with Stuart Daniels, the diamond, in a very strong group of players. Oh, come on, be good. He's a right back, left back. Okay, quite often though, he's not the best player, but we'll have a look. I like to think I have nobly influence of being many of the players, including Max Pearson and Isaac Hayes with my coaching style. Let's have a look at those two first. Right midfielder. One jumping reach. Jesus, that's hard. That's, does that mean he can't actually leave the ground? Okay, I'm liking him. I just want to see because it means, like, if he's doing well, the bringing through players. Okay, I wouldn't brag about that one so much, mate. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. Okay, okay, okay. So Max Pearson is the the star of the boat. I like this player. I like the look of this player. 16 years old. 
Good crossing, decent pace, decent physicals, other than, you know, the, but he's young, so that's going to improve quite quick. First touch and dribbling's okay. Good leadership, good determination. Passing's lacking a little bit, but good techers. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with him. Welcome, Max Pearson. I will approach to sign you. And I sign you, I shall. Then we've got Neil Matthews, who's a, looks like another right winger. Um, oh, okay, he's got some. He's got lots of flair, teamwork, aggression. His technicals are pretty turd. He's another winger, but very good pace, great natural fitness, unambitious, and he tries long passes despite not being able to pass. Okay, that's the sort of guy guy I like. <laughs> Fuck it. What was Max Pearson? He's got plays one twos. I'm all right with that. And he's balanced as well, which is nice. Okay, so Max Pearson is definitely the best of the bunch. Next up, we've got Kian Ely, a central midfielder, 15 years old, four-star potential, great passing, great teamwork, good physicals, pretty rapid, unambitious again. Okay, we'll give him, we'll give him a contract. It's not quite as good as I'd hope. Now, this is the one that he was telling about, was the the one. He looks like a left-footed. Please be left-footed. We did need a left-winger. Be decent. He's Okay, he's right-footed. He's a right fullback. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. It's not great. Low determination. We can fix that. Decision-making is good, but it's concentration, anticipation, like every, like all the important fullback stats, other than acceleration, he's really shit at. So he's not a fullback. I don't really know what he is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, Stuart. You're definitely not a left winger, that's for sure. That's one thing I can assure you of. Okay. Uh, Warren Salmon, I like the name. Left winger? Mm. I'm a bit disappointed, boys. I'm a bit disappointed, I've got to say. And um, we'll have a look at the goalkeeper as well. I'll have a look at the others, but there's very unlikely. We'll sign the goalkeeper, just even if it's just for the youth team. We might end up being a backup. Okay, so Max Pearson is definitely the player of the bunch. Um, he could actually make it. The others, meh. Probably, probably not. Really? Okay. Right, now skip it ahead to the Maidstone United. No, we're we no, playing Bromley, aren't we? Have we played Bromley? It's late, man. It's like quarter past ten in the morning. I've been up all night. I've been recording for about 11 hours. Right. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, play Bromley. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. What are we doing here, Dad? So... Out of nowhere, we're playing the worst football we have done for many, many months. I can't explain it. So, uh, our left back suspended. Our right back is injured, so our backups are pretty... They should be all right. Maybe not the left back, but the right back should be great. But he had a decent game last time out. Well, decent for him. 6.7 is actually... I'm going to drop the goalkeeper and give Millboard a goal because he dropped to 6.5. And that's actually even bad, for even for a goalkeeper. Um, Patching's doing all right. John's doing all right as well. I'm going to give Cabral a game. See if he can do anything remotely useful. The rest... Can stay as you are, boys. Stay as you. How's the dynamics looking? Is that really hurt? No, not at all. We had a team talk, so that's good. <clears throat> okay. Oh, disappointed, boys. Disappointed. Maybe I'm. I think I'm expecting too much now as well. I, I think I'm. I've bigged it up too much. But if we get a right winger out of it, do we actually need a right winger? Yeah, because the other backup's on loan. So he could potentially be a backup right winger. Almost straight away. And remember, because we're part-time, because we have bad facilities, because we have barely any staff, and they're all part-time, our players will obviously get better with age, but nothing like what they should do normally. So if we really want somebody to make it, 
such as the likes of Madison and um, Alex John. We need to give them first team football. That's the only way they really, really improve, unless they're some fucking 200 PA guy, but that's slightly unlikely. All right, come on, boys. Cheer me up after that, after this shitty run of form out of nowhere. We still, I'll show you the league table afterwards. We st we're still in with a chance of playoffs. Fucking hell. Steady on, boys. Steady on. Playing Bromley. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Come on. I don't know why it's got so shit. That's it. That's it. We're coming back into it. Maurice Apavsky plays it to Jarvis. Dinks it in. It's got deflected. It's scraped against the postage. <clears throat> but we've leveled it on Woodwork, so that's good. Well, we should have scored by now. Three half chances. You should be getting looking to get one goal from three half chances. Okay, it's just it's just not happening for us, boys. Come on. Bit of encouragement going in the second half. No need to be drastic with the changes. We did edge that half. Maybe all my players have thought, oh, actually, lads, we might get playoffs. And as soon as they thought that, they were like, oh, I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain what happens has happened in the last three. Oh, God. Patching's just stood there like a lemon. I'm subbing him off. He's on a yellow card. They're going to go and score, aren't they? Yes! Millbourne, what a choice it was. Right, Patching's off. No point risking him. He's on a yellow. Oh, come on. <sighs> Not happy about this, boys. Go on, Maddie. Go on, Maddie. Carry us. Jarvis on the volley. Jarvis again. Tight angle. It's a corner ball. Madison, save us. Save us. He's kind. He is a little bit of. It, it is a bit of a one man team, to be honest. A tiny bit. We've got other decent players, but Madison carries us and saves us on many occasion. Interesting. Bit of defending. Oh, fuck's sake. It's like the game has just decided I'm I'm not allowed to win anymore. It's like, no, you can't have back-to-back -back promotions. I'm just going to magically make your whole team shit and tactic not work suddenly for no apparent reason. <laughs> this is what we did last game when we were 4-1 down and it worked amazingly well, is that we went... Um, I have taken patching off, which is a little bit annoying. Um... John goes there, you go there, you go there. Um, I don't have enough central midfielders on the bench. Boy, why doesn't it just show me positions? Um, got Reedy. I know, we should be right. Brinks can go there because we can put him on. He's not exactly... Uh, we'll make you... We can make him Mozilla. And then Reed. Deep line playmaker on support. Then we switch these to attacking wing backs. Didn't change any of the team instructions, just went attacking. All right. Okay. Go. Good luck, everyone. Oh, come on. I wanted to make a run at this fucking trophy. Why is the game just screwed me over, man? Nothing's going to happen, is it? Nothing's going to happen. Oh, oh, there's time. There's time, but this needs to go in. Oh, it needs to be our highlight. It's not even our highlight. <laughs> Millbourne's done all right. Oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Still time. John, just keep it for now. Keep it, keep it. Hold it up. You'd be glad. Look at that for a ball from Big John. Butler. Yes, Madison. Fucking awful. We've got it back, though. Banks. Reed, John. Brinkley. 
Cabral. Still can't really say it. His name sounds wrong. Banks is going to win it back. Play into the middle. Middle, middle, behind the middle. Here, there. Here, Banks. Fuck me. Take your sweet time. Let me, oh. Oh, it's, is this... What's the highlight? Where, where's the highlight? No fucking highlight is there. Not a fucking highlight. Cocking bollocks. Not happy. I don't know what... I hate it when it's like this. I don't mind losing games. Of course I don't. Right? I don't mind when stuff's not working out or morale's down and you're struggling or trying to find a tactic that works. But I hate it when a tactic is working great and then it's like a flick of a switch. And it's work. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't work. We we're scoring a shit ton of goals, and <laughs> now we can't score, and we're conceding a shit ton of goals. How is that? I un maybe you might have a tactic that works. That maybe sort of oh the goals dry up a little bit, or maybe you're conceding a couple of more. But from going to scoring four, four, four to not being able to score for two games, three games out of the four, just seems bizarre. It just seems weird. Halifax, Port Vale and Billericay. I know they're all bet decent teams. Billericay, Halifax and Port Vale. They're all top half teams. <clears throat> it's just fucking annoying. Because you don't know what to do then. Do you suddenly change everything? Despite the fact it was amazing. Do you just change everything? I, I feel like we just persevere. I think that's the, I think that's the thing to do. Right. Let's think positive, boys, right? We were in with a chance of playoffs here, which we would have bitten our hand off. There's 46 games in a season, <laughs> okay? So we'll come back a little bit sooner. We'll play two or three games and then come back, and, unless I've just murdered all my players for suddenly being shit at football. Who knows? There we go. Youth in, take done. Wasn't as good as I'd hoped, but we've got one semi-decent player and a couple of other maybes, and we got knocked out of the cup. But we do have 670 grand in the bank. Shall I improve the youth facilities? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Right, there we go, my friends. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to get some sleep now because I've been doing this for hours. Bye-bye.